Hundreds of insects around a mosquito net over a bed in a hospital. Inside, there's a young boy who sounds like he's scared to death. Family members comfort him while one of them films. It happened in the Republic of Congo. Many web users there were amazed to see such a scene in one of the country's top hospitals. Alphonse Ndongo, a business journalist, was one of them. A lot of people who don't know the situation at the university hospital were surprised to see insects like that. There are all kinds of problems at the hospital, inside and outside. There are patches of grass growing, with bushes. They've become a home for insects and birds. About three months ago, there was an owl that got inside the hospital. The insects are termites. During the rainy season, they seek shelter and are attracted by light. They were filmed in the hospital's pediatric and neonatal ward, where the air conditioning is often turned off and the windows open so fresh air can circulate. Doctors at the hospital told us the scene was an exception and that there was no danger for the kids in the ward. But they agreed that the video had become a symbol of other problems at the hospital linked to lack of funding. Alphonse's wife died of a stroke at the hospital in 2018. He says she didn't receive the care she needed. And since then, he has been cataloging problems at the facility. To put it in medical terms, you could say the hospital is in a state of coma. There are departments that sometimes have no running water. Sometimes there's no oxygen in the intensive care unit. And there are even operations conducted without air conditioning because it's out in the OR. We contacted the hospital's management. They acknowledge they have shortages of supplies and there are other problems at the hospital. And they say their priority right now is upgrading the emergency ward and the hospital's security. They're expecting 12 billion Central African francs from the African Development Bank to modernize their facilities. But the doctor's union accuses them of mismanagement and is opposing the loan.